Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. I hope you had a very nice weekend that you rested very well. And of course, we're going to start. So as usual, we're going to check about the platform first. So this is the class of today. And here is the question for today. Also, remember that we need to do the exercise 3.7 and submit that. It's going to be kind of easy. So we just click to check what would be the option, the best option for this. Okay, so we're going to check about the attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Good. Dani Josué García Martínez. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. Good. Present. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. Sonia Guadalupe Benítez de Claros. Zuleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Ok, so let's start. So... Remember that this week and then the Monday or Tuesday of the next week are the last days of class. So by the weekend, probably we need to finish everything in the platform. So we are set. We're going to start with a little video so you can tell me what you got from the video. So uh, comment or opinions, of course. So here we go. मैं टाटा फिल्म की धन्यवाद कहती हूँ कि जो मुझे सहायता मिली मेरा थोड़ा बहुत आज ही भी बढ़ गई से। Growing responsibly is addressing the problems of today for a better tomorrow. And at the Tata Group, we see this as a journey to give and grow. Over the last year, we reached out to over 200,000 distressed people across India and Nepal. Wherever we have gone, our purpose has been to build and nurture the resilience of communities. To oversee these diverse activities, we at Tata have built a cadre of trained project managers, always ready to respond to the call of duty. I thought this is something I could learn a lot from and it could really help me help others in the best possible manner. Volunteering has become a movement at Tata Tata Engage, our volunteering program, launched in 2014, has already registered over 70,000 volunteers. One small volunteering act can inspire many more of your colleagues to volunteer. Uh, so I would encourage many more people to come forward and volunteer in the future. Our colleagues dedicate their time to participate in community activities inspired by the Tata vision to touch the lives of a quarter of the world's population. This as well, so the fact that you guys can come and help us out like this and um, make life better on a day-to-day -day basis for the children who are using this. The youth are our future and the Tata group is investing significantly to empower them with skills and knowledge. 
our companies continue to offer professional training and entrepreneurship opportunities all over the world, while imparting people with education that prepares them for meaningful roles in society. Enduring commitment to sustainability finds reflection in the group sustainability policy adopted recently. Sustainability must remain at the heart of everything we do. It is our competitive advantage that ensures we remain an employer of choice, partner of choice, and a neighbor of choice. At Tata, there's a lot more that we do every day together by touching lives and inspiring a better tomorrow. In the Tata Group, we give and grow. Okay, what did you get from this? Uh, any opinions, any comments? This is an ONG, right? But it sounds like uh, a CSR responsibility, part of the CSR responsibility, but, but for me, it's an ONG. Then they help people from disasters or weather things, uh, disaster. that is what I understood. But it's an ONG. Yeah, that is a non-profit organization. Non-profit organization, okay. Very good, perfect, thank you. Any other comments, opinions? As an, <clears throat> sorry, as an NGO, uh, like we could see in the video, they bring opportunities to people to uh, get a better life, uh, through all the programs that they have from uh, the childhood to uh, I, I I saw people in, like maybe in university or am, am I wrong? There are people from the university, yeah. There are volunteers so, from different ages. So uh, they try to to uh, to give better opportunities through all the all the programs that they, that they have obviously <clears throat> i was reading on on the internet about this group and the um uh, and there is uh is a group of people grupo grupo tata okay so uh, they try to um um how to say this like uh, to develop the best um como es your, your com competences or i don't know how to say this competences competences yeah Competen competences so um uh, through the through education maybe okay very well yeah they but had from uh, go ahead uh, but but also uh, technology, medical attention, uh, trying to help people from like uh, like Anna Claudia said uh, from vulnerabilities. No, um, estragos. Uh, I don't know how to say this. Um, different issues you can say or consequences. Consequences uh, about. Uh, um uh, about uh, many many things that are considered like uh, catastrophes uh -huh. maybe very good okay perfect thank you uh juan miguel any other comments or opinion about the video
Okay, so um, question for everybody. What is a non-profit or non-government uh, organization? What is that? Maybe uh, <clears throat> an organization which uh, Sorry, uh, maybe a, an organization which uh, their main duty or their main activity is to um, to help the society or to bring a, um, bring back to the society a, many ways of helping people. A, some of these organizations, uh, they gather food, uh, they teach, they uh, develop many programs, maybe from <clears throat> people uh, which is dedicated to, um, to cultivar, I don't know how to say, the land. Okay, to yeah, cultivate or crop the cultivate land. land. Uh, but not in the uh, in the traditional way, uh, like um, with programs, with uh, they have um, they have a, a compromise with the environment in order to not to to not to um, deal more damage uh, instead or instead. Uh, they try to do this kind of things in the organic way, okay? Um, maybe uh, could be an organization which is, yeah, which is able to bring uh, the society back uh, through many programs, some relief to many situations, okay? Very good. Yeah, something like that one, right? So a nonprofit organization is well an organization that help other people in different ways. So there are many kinds of nonprofit organizations. So but why do they exist? I mean, uh, if we have the government, why do we need a nonprofit organization? I guess it's because well the name itself says that they don't generate revenue, right? They don't generate, they are not a created, they weren't created to generate revenue. That is what I understand is to generate a social impact would be like schools, a bring water to places or help people to build houses, etc. I guess they exist because they, identify like um, opportunity in, in in some areas, some places that for unknown reasons, governments, they are not covering. We don't know, could be many reasons, but these organizations are, are focused to a relieve, I don't know if, yes, I, we can use that verb to, to relieve uh, some kind of problem a community will face. And also they try to provide tools for people to overcome when these situations comes. That is something that I understand. Okay, very well. So yes, yeah, it's, it's a little bit beyond the government. I mean, the government, they do like basic things, but sometimes it's not enough, right? So then the nonprofit mm -hmm. organization, they come and try to help people. Okay, so that is it. Any other comment about why do we need a nonprofit organization in our society? As you have just said, teacher, they exist because our governments and they cannot afford everything. It's not enough what, what their resources got, so that's why they exist. Okay, very good. And uh, do you know how you can create a nonprofit organization here in El Salvador, for example? Sorry, teacher. How we can create a nonprofit organization? Uh, we need to have a special permission from 
um Education minister. Exactly. Very good. So that is it, right? So first of all, you need to get the people because there has to be like a counselor, counseling people there. And then uh, it's like the president, the vice president, the treasurer, many people that are involved. Uh, you need to write like, like the rules or the objective of the non-profit organization, then you need to go and look for the permission. You need to pay. Once that is approved, you need to pay. So it's published on the official data and then you can start creating projects and having the things uh, or programs to, to help people, right? So. And the most important, you have to uh, get the resources, right? Yeah, that I believe that is the most difficult, I mean, Yes, mm -hmm. it's difficult to create, to organize yourself. And it's very expensive, for example, to publish that on the daily. I mean, it's around $2,000. But once you have that one, I mean, yeah, to get the resources, to get the people that really want to help. So that is probably the most difficult. And of course, then to, to do the projects, right? To actually help people. Uh, do you know any nonprofit organization here in El Salvador? There are a lot of them, teacher. Orden de Malta, Teleton itself, right? Yeah. There are a lot of them. That is so true, which uh, leads us to another question, right? I mean, there are many, a lot. Some of those are very famous. Some of those are not that famous. But, I mean, I we know that there are many, many. But do you see any programs that they're doing? Do you see or do you know people that they are actually getting help? I mean, is working, is it working this kind of organizations? They do work, teacher. There are several organizations that do a great job. Okay, very good. So any other, I mean, do you know any specific, any program or any nonprofit that they do specific things? Um, teacher, for example, uh, in the university I was studying, um, there was an organization called Save the Children, and they organized um, workshop for the kids to teach them, for example, um, I don't know how to do some um, learn some of electronic and learn how to play the guitar, piano and other instrument and they perform that workshop in the university. So um um they gather a lot of kids from the community all around and all the Saturdays, they did that kind of workshop. So it was a good initiative for them. Okay, very good. So that, that sounds very nice. Man. So to teach people to do things, definitely something that is very, very important. Teacher, but there are a lot. Uh, the one that uh, from Padre Vito Guarato, Ayúdame a Vivir, Libras de Amor. There are several, there are so many. There are a lot, right? Maybe I believe that uh, we don't perceive their help because, I mean, we are not uh, part of the most uh, poor people, right? There are people that actually they don't have food or they don't have water or they don't have a lot of things. And since we have our jobs and we are in the middle of the city, sometimes we are not able to, to see, but they actually work, right? So, which is very good. Okay, so now we're gonna continue with the uh, with the social responsibility within the company. So, uh, well, we're gonna speak a little bit more about corporate social responsibility. So, uh, the first one, Marcus, could you please help me with the first two paragraphs here? Okay. 
corporate social responsibility, CSR programs are practically a given at most companies these days. But that doesn't necessarily mean all companies have truly accept the calling to be good corporate citizens. Some CSR programs are really nothing more, more than market employees and poorly execute one at that. The struggling to get employees excited to participate and give, give back to the community. One company that's getting its right hit TCC, the larger version of premium wireless retailer in the US, is nationally recognized. Culture of God Initiative, a movement in which TCC gives back in every community it does business, has succeeded in making a difference in local communities while also keeping employees happy and engaged in their work. Okay, what did you get from this one? Okay, um, I understand that, that some companies nowadays, mostly all the companies have have a CSR program. Um, I don't know if it's a requirement from the government, but um, they they have. But so in some cases, and the CSR program is just a, a, a just a mask. It's not real. It's only a marketing strategy, and they don't help the people in this. So um, it's important that this big corporation um, make a real effort to help the people. And one that does a, a real effort to do that is the TCC, um, that also have a good initiative, a good move, movement to help people and also they involve their employers and, and they keep the employees engaged and happy working in their um, daily and uh, daily tasks and also helping people okay very good so yes um sometimes and actually this is something we discussed before that some companies it seems that the main objective of this kind of problems is to be marketed. I mean, to to reflect uh, that they are a good brand and to attract more people. And it shouldn't be that way, right? And then it says, Ryan McCarthy, TCC's Director of Customers and Employee Relations, launched the Culture of Good in 2013. To date, TCC has donated nearly $3 million through the program. According to McCarthy, there are seven guidelines every company should follow to create an effective CSR program. So this is like seven things that are important whenever you want to create a CSR program. Let's check the first one. Um, Heidi, could you please help me with the first one? Sure, teacher. Number one, create a culture built on doing good. To ensure your CSR program isn't just an afterthought, McCarty emphasizes the importance of making sure that giving back at the, at the foundation of the company's culture and core values by coming from a place of sincerity that is the truth to the company's beliefs of CSR program will become an extension of the company's intentions. At TCC, McCarty and CEO Scott Moorhead developed the virtual circle of success, which focuses on creating a culture that inspires and motivates people to reach their full potential, while also being part of its greater purpose. Third, the VCS TCC believes that when each employee is passionate about making a difference in the lives of people, the community, the company touches, everyone will succeed. Simply put, TCC wants to make difference equally 
in the lives of its employees, customers, and the community itself. Very good. So what did you get from this? It's very interesting that uh, they want to create this um, culture in their employees to do things for the community in, in the ones they work in, right? So that way uh, they get uh, better, much compromised employees. Very good. So the yeah, actual is, I mean, you need to create a culture, right? And of course, the first step is that um, within the company, you are going to help anybody that needs from any other department, anything from you. And then you can create the culture of helping others. So they really, everybody has to believe in that one, right? So that is- Yes, so remember that uh, when we used to work for Citibank, uh, they, they have a global community day. So that day in the whole work works for the community. And we go to schools to paint and bring piñatas to the kids and candies. It's very interesting. We all work for the community that day with happiness, with joy, and, and it's very nice day. Yeah, actually it's true. It's very, very nice, very interesting. And the good thing I believe in this kind of culture is that you bring happiness to other people, but you also feel very nice, right? Exactly, that's the idea. Very good, perfect, thank you. So number two is for Juan Miguel. Remember to follow your employees' interests. Mercari is a demand that businesses should support charities. Charities, okay? Yeah, charities. Charities or causes that employees are already passionate about. Before deciding where TCC should donate its money, time, and resources, Macari has spent a significant amount of time determining or determining. Determining. Determining what efforts will make the most impact on both his employees and the community. That was no easy feat, considering the company has more than 170. Uh, 1,700 employees or could I say 1,700, okay? Yeah. Yeah, 1,700 employees and 630 stores across the nation. After discovering that an overwhelming majority, 85% of TCC employees are millennials, Makari focused his efforts on the types of charities and volunteer efforts this demographic is most interested in supporting. Research from Boston from the Boston Consulting Group found that mil my millennials are huge proponents of the buying, buying local trend and want to shop and want to shop at, work for and engage with companies that share their value for social responsibility. Good, what did you get from this? Uh, like uh, you were talking before, uh, if you want to, to do something like this, but in your company, you will be ensured that you are um, focusing your resources, uh, or the resources that you gather uh, in a in a thing or in a, in a cause that they really really believe because uh, maybe you don't as as a corporate you don't want to give something uh, with uh, an angry face okay. So if the employee maybe is not interested at all or is not identified at all of the situation, uh, he or she could not maybe or could maybe not uh, not happy at the moment that they are uh, trying to relieve some situation or something like this, okay? All the people in your company must, must have to to believe in the in this situation, okay. And if you have to 
and if you have to uh, to make a research inside your company, uh, it will be a better better situation because you will find uh, the way that they want to do this thing or the idea that they are really really supporting at. Uh, I think for me is that very good perfect so that is it right so yes I mean if the company they really want to help and want to impact the society uh, it's also important to listen to the employees I mean to tell them well you know we want to create a, a program to help kids or elderly people um, but what do you think I mean what would do you believe or what would you like to to do so that is very important even though the uh, leadership is the one that is going to make the decision. To listen and please is also very, very important. And it says, with this in mind, McCarthy decided that supporting local communities instead of national programs in which TCC's employees live and work will increase employee engagement across the board by inspiring employees to work hard to do the most good in their communities. It provides a better sense of job fulfillment that millennials create. So as you can see here, they decided together that they will work in certain communities. So it's going to be a good reflection of what they want to do as the good thing. Okay, number three is going to be for, let's see, Giselle. Not possible, okay. Uh, Danny. Okay. Uh, provide paid time off for volunteer effort. Volunteer time off the VTO. All these are growing trend among business truly committed, committed to join CSR programs the right way. Companies that allow VTO um, recruit and retain ambitious employees. Studies shows giving your employees volunteer opportunity as part of their job builds loyalty to your company, making them honored honor to work for a place with a with a strong community mindset. TCC, for example, gives employees to pay day for 16 hours off per year of to volunteer in a community effort of their own ch chosen, choosing. In addition, each store is given 125 per quarter. Uh, 500 a year, I think. Uh, yeah, 500. Uh, to dedicate to a local organization of their choice. The stores and department have a done holiday outrage. Food donation, giving winter clothing, created care basket for new moms, send military care packs, and more. Okay, what did you get from this? Mm, I think uh, the company um, are, is in this way are mm, reinforcing the, the CSRs program uh, for their employees. Um, in that way, the employees uh, can, um, or they be, uh, or in this case, uh, they can help, or yeah, help in the in the CSO programs, and in exchange of um, something that that um, the company could give them in its in exchange to the CSR program. Very good. So that is it. I mean, uh, well, then the best of the cases uh, is better for you to pay this time to to your employees, right? Because, I mean, they are 
taking in consideration, taking off uh, things uh, on their own time. So it's going to be a good idea. And what the most of the companies do, at least, is to provide shirts or cap or food for these uh, days of volunteering or so transportation, definitely. So, and then uh, the employees, they give their time, which is very good. But if it's possible also to pay for them uh, is, is a very good idea. Okay, number four is a little bit large, but anyways, let's see how it goes. Uh, let's see, Roberto. Not possible. Francisco Eduardo. Not possible. Check. Sure, sure. Okay, go ahead, please. Uh, number four. Yeah. Uh, the second yeah is the store manager of ccs oxford s location in Tempan. which property in areas surrounding this particular store Craig tell what's important to take a look at the local job and invest in something with the potential to be a long-term solution to the problems facing his community uh, yes, the three paragraphs that are there, please. Okay, teacher. If this store decides to focus on a local after school program that reaches its age 9 to 18, the organization should work between uh, 200. Five hundred kids Good. from five area schools at one of those schools. Forty-eight percent of the students are on state provided lunches. CCC employees volunteer their time side by side by side. Division two donate their time to help with answering the program needed. They be also found units to raise funds for the Jewel Center, such as playing in charitable basketball games with the local university ones, basketball team. Good. What did you get from this? Uh, I understand that uh, the, the people, the were uh, uh, Refer uh, to the William Matthew. Uh, I, I, I understand that uh, he creates uh, a program for uh, his community that uh, uh, he uh, uh, involves uh, to the kids of the, his community. Okay, very good, perfect. So, yeah, you can also get your customers involved, right? So they they know that you are doing something, and they can come and do some volunteering. A lot of people might be interested in that one. Last two paragraph of this is going to be for let's see, Maria Alejandra. Uh, star and employees. Yeah, yes, please. Employees at this store also encourage encourage these customers to support the cause. At uh, checkout, customer are give three options if they want to get involved. One to make a cash donation to the Jewel Center. 
uh, tools to donate guard, gardening tools and supplies to help build it garden. And three, to bring in old books to expand its library. Uh, this philosophy has proven, 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 proven successful in quarter one and 20, 20, 2015. 2015. Uh, 2015, the store raised more than 500 mm -hmm. in customer culture of good donations and saw a 18% increase in years over year ground from quarter one. 2014. Good. What did you get from this? Um, maybe um, the company uh, to translate for the customers that options to participate in this cause and give a three options that may for give uh, money or uh, tools or supplies for the cows or um, give uh, their uh, give the books uh, old books for to uh, have more books in the library for that person to have the opportunity to learn and maybe then say that results for that compared with the uh, one one uh, before and after when saw the donations in increase with these options okay very good so i uh, guess i mean if you involve people outside from the company of course you need to to guide them so you need to provide some options about what they can do. In this case, they uh, had to, three options. I mean, a cash donation, uh, gardening tools, supplies for that one, or all books for the library, which is very easy. I mean, any of those is, is easy. And also sometimes might be possible that you can uh, say to the, to the customers, if you want to help building, I mean, you can come, right? So that is also a very good idea. Good. The other one says make it annual. Uh, this is no, this is not that long. Let's see. Um, Jose Swing, is it possible for you? Not possible. Okay, Anna Claudia. Okay. Guess the first paragraph. It will be the first and the second. Ah, okay. Make it. Annual. When Macari read the National Retail Federation's 2013 prediction that the average person with the children's in grades K-12 will spend $86 that year on school supplies, which increased to $101 with 18 cents in 2014, he was shocked. As a dedicated community activist, he knew that not every family had that kind of money to spend on school supplies, but it sparked his idea for the Culture of Good First Initiative, which has turned into a national recognized annual event. This is School Rock's backpack giveaway, which hits stores which hits stores uh, August 1st is now in uh, is a third year. More than 400 participating TCC stores across the U.S. donate 100 uh, million backpacks that are stuffed with pencil, paper, a pencil box, folders, blue and more to children since 2013. TCC has donated 260,000 backpacks to ensure kids are prepared for the start of the school year and set up for success in the classroom. 
Each year, the event grows more successfully with uh, lines of customers grabbing around at PCC stores hours before the event kicks off. Very good. What did you get from that? Well, uh, this is an excellent idea. They saw uh, a need. They identify a need. Um, I was surprised that they were uh, thinking that not all the family will have $86. And I was saying, here in El Salvador, parents pay more, <laughs> more yeah. than that with every kid. Uh, but I don't know if uh, uh, that it will be uh, it was like uh, giveaways uh, what I don't know if this uh, I didn't understand or maybe it's not clear if this type of activities generate, generates um, uh, uh, I, how can the, the trade trade, uh -huh, trade, I guess, in, with the local community. So, I mean, uh, the ones that are uh, providing with these giveaways to the children, they need to purchase at some place all the implements, like pencils, uh, glues, uh, the backpacks. And as I read there, uh, every year is increasing the amount of back backpacks they provide. I don't know if it doesn't mention also if there is a recycling culture there involved. We don't know if it's just consuming, uh, 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 purchasing, purchasing. Mm. But the, the idea what is shown is that they provide, they give giveaways mm -hmm. to children. Very good. So that's, that's very nice. I mean, they do not provide the whole thing but they provide a lot of things so very very mm -hmm. good right? so they try mm -hmm. to help families not to spend that much mm -hmm. good thank you and then it says in addition to the school racks backpack giveaway tcc holds three other campaigns each year that include providing canned goods to more than 300 local food banks giving supply packs to 3500 teachers across the u.s and volunteer in time to improve the environment for Earth Day. So in mind, everything that they do is not just one single thing. So they continue, right? They help also teachers. They, I mean, it's a very good thing. Nice. Okay, number six is going to be for Ada Susana. Not possible, okay? Suleyma Yvonne. Not possible, okay. Roxana. Okay. Let employees leave the cows. McCarthy has to design champions of designated. God. Sorry? A designated. Designated, thank you. Designated champions of God in each region, region totaling more than 75 employees leading, leading the company's charity table. Char charity table. Charity table. Charity table. Okay, thank you. Charity table initiatives. They foster new ideas, communicate culture of good opportunities to fill out employees and ensure philanthropy remains a significant part of TCC of sorry of TCC's corporate culture. Okay, what do you get from this one? Uh, well when um, you have a company and try to uh, share the positive ideas with the rest of the employees. Maybe uh, you can create a little team to um, start with another initiatives. Uh, and you don't need to, to work by yourself as a leader, right? Uh, because uh, maybe you have a objective, but if you share 
with your team, uh, you can get uh, more um, support and you can um, look for another uh, objectives in the future. Uh, for example, uh, when I was um, studying at the university, I was um, becada, how do you say becada? Scholarship. Okay, thank you. I was, I, I was a scholarship? I had a scholarship. Okay, thank you. I had a scholarship. So after, uh, after that, the comp, the university, uh, when the when the beneficiaries when the benefits right uh when the yeah you can say when people that uh -huh. got the benefit uh -huh. yeah when people uh got the degree after that uh, they try to uh, looking for another resources for example a uh, I always uh, I receive some calls or, or some emails asking if I can support another uh, scholarship for the for other students. So the main idea is um, maybe uh, share the um, the positive idea when well when in my case I receive that benefits and. Uh, try to uh, create um, or continue with uh, that objectives. So maybe it's, it's, it's like um, like a team because uh, I remember when I was a study, I paid uh, my scholarship with social hours. So it was like a maybe like a little job in the in the university, and maybe uh, they always um, try to um, give uh, or or create uh, the idea of um, support the the university and support uh, social programs uh, like uh, or. Um, yeah, like the uh, para mi país. Do you remember? It's a UDV uh, program, I guess. And they always try to uh, look in a student with a scholarship to work on that. So, uh, in my previous uh, year, in this previous year, I I have received some calls asking for a. Uh, give money for that programs. So maybe is the main idea of that uh, paragraph because uh, I was like an employee because I spent time with social hours when I was a study at the university, right? So I guess that is important when, um, when you have a, a positive idea and you try to trust me to the others and collect more persons to uh, looking for your objectives. Okay, very good. Actually, the example that you provide is very nice. I mean, you pay for your scholarship with hours helping at the mm -hmm. university. And mm -hmm. now that you have an, uh, a job, I mean, they ask you to support. So that is a very good program because it's not only that i mean it's for free just because you got some uh, degrees some some grades and it, but it's also that you are going to collaborate with the community and also uh, they follow up on that one so that is a very good thing mm -hmm. good number seven uh, get feedback so this is going to be for jose wilfredo okay sure get feedback to ensure his CSR program is impactful for his employees. McCarthy regularly assess their reaction and feelings. Based on his you know, on his findings, uh, he is able to adjust the culture of, go of good 
programs uh, properly. When the McCarthy surveyed 864 TCC employees about the impact of the culture of the good initiatives, he found a positive correlation between CSR efforts and employee fulfillment. Among many other advantages, it offers it offers the company. 80% said that the culture of the good gives them a sense of fulfillment in their work. 83% say that the culture of the good makes them feel that more, more health communications, diseases, foreign companies share their value for social responsibility. responsibility. Uh, 65% say that the culture of good contributes to say, to stay in employment by TCC. 53% said that they, that their story has gained new customer, new customers as a result of the culture of the good efforts. Uh, 52% say that the culture is good has helped build better communication skills between employees and help from the strong team bonds in the workplace. While it is important to note that the robust CSR program needs to go beyond philanthropy, this is a great example of how making a social good a priority can boost employee satisfaction and bottom line. Good. What did you get from this? Well, get a survey. Uh, if we um, is to make a our evaluation, maybe uh, this is the how they implement in this in this context. But if you one uh, if you want to get a survey well i don't know maybe you want maybe you you make something and uh, you need to know if what you make is right or not that's the way that maybe for that reason is that you make a survey because you want to discover what are the wrong or what are the mistakes that you uh, during the the whatever situation. Very good, perfect. So, uh, yes, actually that is very good. I mean, if a company delivers a survey to employees or to the public in general, it's because they really care. I mean, they are asking, are we doing the right thing? What do you believe? What do you perceive we are doing right or wrong? And they try to change things that are not correct. And actually, the results are very interesting. I mean, in mind that 86% say that the culture of good gives them a sense of fulfillment in their work. I mean, almost everybody, they were happy about that one. Yeah, they were that's right. very nice giving time or giving something to other people. And then it says 83% say that the culture of good makes them feel that more communications shares their value for the social responsibility. I mean... It's not only that I feel satisfied, but also I believe that the company has good values and that those values are also being presented for the society. And uh, then 65% say that the culture of good contributes to staying employed by TCC. I mean, since they are happy, since they are satisfied there, they don't want to move. They want to stay there. So it's important for the attrition. 53% say that they are store has gained new customers i mean they also perceive that i mean it's a it's like a cycle right since uh, since employees are, are happy and they are happy working there and they believe in the values they are doing a very good job helping customers and then customers feel the reflection of that one besides the values that they see when they see the programs on tv or or on the internet about what they're doing so, of course, a lot of new customers are going to come and stay with the company. And 52% uh, say the culture of good has helped build better communication skills between employees. 
and help form stronger team bonds in the workplace. Meaning that since they are more happy and they are speaking with each other from different departments while doing this kind of volunteering, I mean, they know each other. I mean, sometimes you know that in big companies, you don't know the person that are in accounting or the people that are in uh, social relationships or any other things. But since they work together here, it doesn't matter the department where you are. They know each other. They are willing to help. They are more open. As you can see, there are a lot of benefits that any company can get from a good CSR program. So uh, it's not just like branding uh, or presenting a good brand to the public, but it's something very, very nice. Good. We're going to stop and we're going to check about the um, people in the class right now. Let's see. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Good. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Good. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Good. Sonia Guadalupe Benítez de Claros. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Okay, so let's continue. We finished already the seven guidance for you to think and create this. So, and we're going to check about the five elements of the best CSR programs. Let's move on on that one and check about this one. So the five elements of the best CSR programs, okay? So we're going to start with Fernando. Help me, please. Okay, teacher, give me give me a second, please. Of course, of course. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, since this is a guess. Yeah, please. Yeah. Okay. This is a guest post written by Paul Klein, the founder of Impact Core, a Toronto-based advisory service firm that helped large companies align business and social outcomes. Does your company have what it takes to be a leader? High performance is traditionally measured against key business imperatives, including competitive, competitive differentiation, sales, attracting and retaining talent, operational efficiency, return on investment, and profitab profitability. But this is no longer enough. Today, a new element of leadership is making a pro profound difference in gouging, or gouging business performance, corporate social responsibility. Good. What did you get from that? I understand, I understand that a key for a success company today is take it a calm, uh, corporate social responsibility besides the other the other keys that uh, sales competitive differentiation uh, return on, um, of investment 
um, et cetera. But you need to help this, the society or you need to make this world better or contribute to to the to the humans and you know maybe made your legacy okay very good perfect so uh, yes this is it i mean uh, if you want to be one of the leaders the company leaders around the world there are many things that you need to take in consideration of course how much profit you will make, how is the efficiency and the operations. But this is also very important. Social responsibility is one of the most important things that companies nowadays are doing. So we're going to read about this one now. So the other two paragraphs are going to be for Maria Alejandra. In the last two years, CSR has served Surged fast is surged fast is um, tipping point uh tipping point tipping point a plethora plethora of research points to majority of the stakeholders uh green uh, green that he no? uh, is Air is a must do, says Christian Sariga Merenda, Edelmas, senior vice president of Brand and Corporate. Vice president. Vice, vice president of Brand and Corporate Citizenship, according to Edelmas in 2020. 2010, would propose a study 77% of, cons of cons consumers say they are more likely to buy products and service for a company if they know it's a very good cost of more than 11% from the year before. As a key ingredient in business strategy and execution, the CSR is playing a central role in helping corporations to be seen as leaders. As the corporations are allocating increasing internal resources to CSR investment that features clear objectives and delivering measurable measurable, measurable social outcomes. Good. So what did you get from this? Um, maybe uh, the consumer uh, the the companies try to implement the CSR because the, the customer is very important to the, the product have a high qualification, for example, don't, don't like the animals or like bees and try to respect the difference or the propose the products and maybe the when the persons uh, see the plans or the cows to help that company, it is important that when um, decided to use a, or choose a company to for the different products. Very good. So yes, actually, as we said before, right? Um, people, when they see that the companies are helping and that they really care about many things, uh, they are more inclined to buy products from this company. Remember that new generations are more like that one. They really care about many, many things. So uh, millennials, Generation Z, they are really care about all of this. So, and uh, the next paragraph, let me see, two paragraphs are going to be for Roxana. Hello. 
Campbell's Canada Northeast is the first Canadian private sector, not for profit product that, that specifically target the growing problem, problem of hunger. This nutrition nutritious nutritious is correct? Yeah, nutritious, yeah. Okay. This nutritious meal in a can developed by social conscious Campbell's conscious stuff. socially conscious socially conscious conscious okay Campbell's staffers will only be distribu distributed to food banks not directly to consumers Notice is a great example of how corporation can earn respect and leadership status, status by taking a disciplinary approach to CSR. Okay, what do you get from this? Only this one. Mm, let's see. Campbell's is a person, is a company, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, maybe some companies try to uh, support some uh, programs uh, to create um, maybe a positive idea that how you can use your um, money and, and efficiently form, uh, not only for the own benefits, because uh, that company uh, invest some resources to um, improve the the maybe the real situation some about some uh, specific uh, person I guess this, the para the paragraph said uh, that give um, that create uh, like a program so hung hunger yeah from a person right right yeah yeah they are helping people with hunger yeah 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 uh -huh. so um i imagine that uh, that i don't know is right now is a problem in canada but here we we always uh, when we are in, in the street uh, we can see some um como indigentes and yep. I don't yeah poor poor person maybe right yeah help so I yeah I I don't know if it's some is mm -hmm. if is a problem in Canada but I imagine that it may be uh, there are some uh, crops in the society with uh, less resources and maybe they try to support that that type of um, person maybe or or community and try to um, give the main um, it's like a, the main Como la primera, como las prim, cubrir las primeras necesidades. Yeah, cover basic needs. Okay, cover basic needs. Uh, or something like that. Uh, maybe uh, directly with uh, the, the, the persons or maybe create a specific uh, group to... Uh, 
administrate that uh, pound or that bank, both uh, food banks. Okay, very interesting. Yeah, this is something that is kind of interesting. They created something that is very nutritious and they put it in account, right? So, and they distribute that one. As I understand, not only in Canada, but more actually international. So they are trying okay. to help people uh, across the border. So it's interesting. Good. Next two paragraphs are going to be for Fernando. Okay, teacher. At the outset, the company's objectives were clear. According to Campbell's, we have a responsibility because of who we are and what we do to take a lead role in alleviated hunger. The product was conceived and developed by Campbell's employees who came together to build on their expertise in product development, production, distribution, and marketing. Campbell's expected outcome for the initiative was to raise awareness for hunger while at the same time setting an example for other food companies to follow. Say Philip Dunn, the president of Campbell Canada, if we get even one company introducing their knowledge, we will have been successful. Okay, what did you get from this? Uh, I understand, teacher, but what, what does it mean alleviating or alleviating? Yeah, alleviating is when you have something that is causing you pain or sorrow and something alleviates, like a pill or, or in this uh, case, a program, right? Uh, okay. This is, a, this is a program to contribute to eliminate the hunger. Yeah, so it's like there, is a, there are a lot of people that they are starving and they alleviate by providing these, uh, these cans, this food can. Uh, okay. Oh, well, it's, it's, it's other, other kind of contribution by social responsibility for companies. That is and, yeah, and it's a good initiative. Not only that, uh, maybe they can combine, combine this initiative with others, like, I don't know, others, maybe more simple initiative, like, I don't know, um, um, health, health, for example, uh, a school with low resources or chores that help people or a kind of house that, that help people People of the of the street, I don't know how, how to say people of the street, homeless. Homeless, yeah. Okay, maybe maybe one initiative of the company can be not only contribute to eliminate the hunger, even help with other with other aspects because people not only need food, they need um, clothes and a house and other other needs that they have okay very good so yes this is this is actually very interesting and they are i mean other companies they try to also do things like this i mean it's it's maybe a kind of expensive thing but it's something that is really helping with basic needs to other people so that is actually very very good the other paragraph is going to be for um, Danny. Okay. Research conducted in January by Impact Corp. Revealed that corporations that are considered leaders in terms of business performance take a common approach to CSR. We found five interrelated criteria that form a new blueprint for how corporations can maximize, maximize, maximize. Their, maximize their investment in CSR, business-based social purpose, clear theory of change, 
quality and depth information, concentrated effort, and partnering with experts. Okay, what do you get on this? And this is about the results of, um, for um, um, research um, that um, the, the, the result that it, it thrown is um, when, when a company um, have a um, CSRs, CSR program, um, they um, they have a best um, I don't know if they is is about the return of the investment mm -hmm. or this the investment are uh, covering the most of it can't but. Um, it, um, it's like a criteria, I think, the interrelated criteria, uh, the business social uh, base, the, the business the business based social purpose, a uh, clear theory of change, quality and depth information, and concentrated effort, um, and then the last one, partnering with experts. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. No, just that uh, okay. I, I, I don't have very clear the idea. Okay, very good, perfect. So that is it. I mean, in mind what it says. Now, now corporations are considered leaders in terms of business performance taking common approach to CSR. What is the meaning of that one? So nowadays, sometimes in the interviews, a job interview, they might ask you questions. I mean, what do you believe about CSR? or which program would you like to implement in our company? And they take that in, con in consideration because they want that the new leaders, they uh, are able to maximize investment in CSR. So they really care about this. So this might be a job interview question because they really want to, uh, to have a big impact in the society and they want somebody that is going to lead them not only for good profits and employee management or anything like that, but also uh, for this one. So sometimes, you know, we believe, we believe that these kind of questions are not that relevant in an interview. You say, okay, uh, you are prepared for, for that part, for the money part, for the crisis or conflicts management or things like that. But this one is also very important. And lots of companies nowadays are looking for people to get this. So let's check the other one. Uh, number one, a business-based social purpose. Giselle, is it possible for you? Yes, it should. Okay. okay. Number one, business-based social purpose. There have been too many examples of CSR programs that ignore business fundamentals. Leadership level, CSR programs always directly reflect what the business is and what it does. Campbell's Nourish illustrates how an inno innovative CSR initiative can reinforce the company's business purpose and seem seamlessly leverage its operational competencies. Okay, what do you get from this? That for the company just be profitable, it's not enough anymore. And companies nowadays has to, it's a must to be a focus in this new perspective. Oh, but yeah, and, yes. and CSR uh, has to be part of their, yes. of their goals. And the money is not just the most important thing. And um, when companies uh, notice this importance about, about um, like make the, their guide or they, they, I don't know, they, their plan maybe as a company, the importance to be uh, or, or how they can impact the environment, 
the community or the society in general and how the companies can, uh, I forgot the, the word teacher, um, como devolver? 1860, Sorry? Give back. Yeah, to give back to this part of the, yeah, um, or, or how they can impact these areas uh, when they notice how to give back uh, to the, to the to that areas, I think that maybe uh, they can be more than just profitable. They can impact in other ways. Very good, perfect. Thank you. So that is true. I mean, it's not enough. It's not enough uh, for companies nowadays to to get a lot of profit. To I mean, to be one of the best in efficiency or performance. This is also very important. This happens. I mean, you know, nowadays, uh, oh my God. is a more demanding everything, not only That's for right. people, but also for the for companies. I mean, it's it's the same as, uh, for example, when we when we are looking for a job, when we see a job profile, for example, you will be able to see there that uh, the requirements are more. I mean. Maybe before you just have to have good management things and then you have to learn Excel and then you have to learn many other things. Now you have to learn also English and Excel and social media management. So the same happens with the companies. In the past, just to be profitable, it was good. Now it's not enough. You need to help the society because the world is changing because the resources are limited. And because people are important, so that the same happens. It's very, very important for for people. This thing. Okay, number two, clear theory of change. That is going to be for Juan Miguel. Not possible. Okay, uh, Francisco. Not possible, okay? Check. Marcus. Okay, clear theory of change. CSR is becoming ubiquitous. 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 Ubiquitous, okay. On the one hand, that's good, that's good news because it proves its business value. On the other hand, it's getting harder to distinguish one company separate from another. CSR leader developed a proprietary approach to drive measurable social change. And 3M Canada Healthy Communities Program was designed to spark systematic change in the interrelated areas of education, health, and environment by influencing government and academic leaders. The program also engaged young people through national partnerships with leading not for profit organizations. The Healthy Communities Program was recently awarded the prestigious 3M Global Marketing Excellence Award. Okay, what did you get from this one? Okay, uh, what does it mean, ubiquitous? Uh, it's something that is everywhere. Ah, uh, like globally said, or I mean, yeah, in every corner, in every company, uh, something like that is a bit. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, um I understand that it's like the organization make an effort to help people, and they don't. Uh, it's harder to see who did that effort because it's not profit so they don't need to uh, make an um, uh, advertisement or uh, announce of what they did um, but also um, it's a good practice because they are changing the the, the life of many people and um, 
also um, they help young people through national partnership in which they can learn or can curse a career and also this this not profit organization uh, help in uh, help in the help field in the communities um, yeah they also uh, aware of uh, global marketing influence aware um Yeah, I understand that. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Marcus. So, yes, it's kind of difficult nowadays because, as it says, CSR is everywhere. Uh, all the companies nowadays, they try to do this. So, it's good because, I mean, companies are helping and they are trying their best to, to impact the society in a good way. But it's also difficult because everybody's doing the same. So, now it's like, ah, okay another company with another program so uh, yeah you need to do something that is different something that really matters right it's not just to donate it's just not uh, to to create a program where we are going to bring toys to kids and the set right so something that really matters that's why what we need on what the companies are looking to do Okay, number three is going to be for Heidi. Okay, teacher. Quality and depth of information. Rarely identify social priorities for community investments. Isn't enough. Leadership come from providing employees, customer, and external stakeholders with significant depth of information about the social issue through credible research, white papers, video, stories, social media, and so on. IBM Smarter Planet is a best practice in this area. We support sophisticated projects that lead to a more intelligent, enlightened world, explains Adi, Adi Pitchkind. In IBM's public affairs manager for corporate affairs and citizenship. For instance, through our World Community Create project, we are helping to develop new solutions to important medical and sustainable issues by providing scientists with a new PC computer power supplied by volunteers to enable them to conduct better and faster research. Okay, what do you get here? What I get here is that companies try to identify where 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 the areas that need more help, and that that, that the activity are uh, are um, I, ideal to help with. For example, this company gave computers because that's what they produce. For example, but they made a research where they where they can find, find the areas where they can help more or best. Okay, very good. So yes, I mean, uh, what you say is very, very true. I mean, if you are an expert in this kind of situation, of course, you are going to look uh, a program, look for a society or, or a community that is going to take advantage of that one. So sometimes it's a good idea. I mean, for example, the call centers, they do that a lot. They have a program where they go and teach English uh, with volunteers, with employees, to schools, to kids. So because they they have people that they speak English. So uh, if you are an expert in this one, you just look for a community that is going to take advantage of this and it's going to be much better, right? Exactly. So you give what you got, what nice. you have to give. Mm -hmm. Good, perfect. Thank you. Number four is going to be for Jose Osmin. Not possible, okay? Let's see, Ana Claudia. Okay, concentrated effort. Colin Powell once stated that people are capable of effectively addressing only one objective at a time. 
he would not be surprised to discover that companies that support multiple social issues don't move the needle very far on any of them. Leadership is shown by corporations that focus their efforts on one social issue and align all their internal and external resources with this issue. Procter & Gable focuses on helping children, children in need around the world. Since 2007, PNG has improved the lives of more than 210 million children through initiatives such as Protecting Futures, which helps vulnerable girls stay in school, and Hop Schools, which increases access to education in rural areas of China. We see programs like Protecting Futures as an investment in the future that helps both children's, children and communities thrive, says Jeff Roy, Project and Gable Media Relations Manager. Good, what do you get here? I agree. Uh, it's important not to be multitasking or trying to do a lot of uh, different uh, social activities or different programs. It's better, better to focus the effort uh, in mostly in a company in one specific thing. Um, that helps uh, in in all the uh, in all directions. Um, I agree with that. It's just focusing one thing, not in multiple things. Very good. Yeah, actually, that is much better, right? I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. it's good if you have two or three programs, but only if you have the people and if you are going to do plans for the long term. So you know that mm -hmm. the impact is going to actually change communities and it's going to be uh, something that you can continue doing and helping in a better way. So and that is something that is important. I mean, if you mm -hmm. just uh, concentrate on what you really want to achieve, it's going to be better. Mm -hmm. Good, perfect. Okay. So number five, uh, partnering with experts. Uh, let's see, Jose Wilfredo. Okay, partnering with experts. Leadership requires establishing a high degree of credibility. This is the best done through the relationship with social issue experts and not for profit organization. Starbucks hosted a cup summit at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology to bring together municipalities, raw material suppliers, cup manufacturers, retail and beverage businesses, recyclers, no government organiza organization and academic experts to share ideas for making paper and plastic cups more broadly recycled. On the journey to make or iconic, iconic coffee cups 100 recycled, uh, we quickly learned that developing recyclable material is just one part of the complex equation. We had a, to consider the entire lifespan of a cup, including what happened after it leaves our customer hands, said Ben Parkett, Starbucks Vice President of the Global Responsibility. This required bringing together the entire system of the stakeholder with expert expertise, the influence and the infrastructure to coordinate a fundamental shift, not only in our own operation, but in the entire food packaging and recycling industries. Corporation that haven't optimized their approach to CSR, may still be considered industry leaders, but not for much longer. CSR is already influencing how employees, customers, and stakeholders are deciding whom they prefer to follow. The good news is that the path to high performance CSR has been uncovered at, and it's possible to follow the leaders. Very good. What did you get from this? 
maybe well when you have one uh, company uh you have to make a relationship with another uh maybe with other companies that are like renamed or the companies that maybe are on the high or, or on the top of the list and then you have to learn their their uh positive action or also their uh, their positive um what the positive values and benefits and all that you can uh, learn to to increase your your uh, um here's the word your uh, let me see I don't remember the word teacher you your the size of your profile wolf, but you have to increase your uh, I don't remember the word teacher like the way that people look at the brand or anything yeah like? that's right okay okay very good perfect so yes I mean uh, whenever you want to to impact society and whenever you want to do something that is very really good it's better for you to look for experts right for example lots of companies here in El Salvador when they want to create a good program of a CSR they look for non-profit organization that they have already the expertise on this program. Also, huh? also teacher, to have a good credibility. That is true. So yes, in that case, it's going to be much better. There are many, many non-profits that they work with companies. That's uh, what they do. Volunteering, they try to find the resources. They try to find uh, the people that are going to be the benefit from the program so it's it's a good thing so uh, and if by any chance you don't know where to start that is a good thing so look for an expert and then they will guide you on the right path so that would be that's it. right because also teacher uh, maybe when the people knows uh, when the people know that you are making a maybe a, a good things with your product or something like that with your profit uh, maybe the people uh, go to buy your uh, to buy your product just because they want to help uh, the maybe the society or something that you are helping. That is true. So it's very interesting. As you can see, these all the things that we have spoken about this one is very, very interesting because it's very important. I mean, for companies, for people, everybody get benefited from this one. And even if companies, they do small things, it's going to be something that is going to impact society. So good, good. So um, I have a question for you. Imagine that you will create a non-profit organization in El Salvador. Uh, what would you do? I mean, what would be the program that you would like to create? Who would you help? Anybody? So you um, have to go ahead. I'm sorry. Maybe teacher, um, I will create a non-profit organization in order to help um those students from the countryside um to not leave the school to encourage uh, with allow with um and like uh, and give events or doing workshop. In order that they feel motivated to keep studying the or finish the the um, the school the high schools it will be around yeah high school 
uh, yeah um, okay. yeah in order that they can reach the vulture and perhaps then they can study in university career and so I will create a non-profit organization focused on help the countryside kids do not live and also um, perhaps uh, give them food or gift when they um, accomplish their um, attendance in the school. Okay, that sounds like a very good program. And uh, let me ask you, imagine that, yes, we have the program, but we're going to implement that one. Uh, at what age would you do that one? I mean, it will be for kids, it will, it will be for students uh, from sixth to ninth grade uh, or high school. What would you do? What do you believe is the best stage for people to decide that they will stay at school? And um, the stage, I uh, think, in from 12 to 16 years. Okay, very good. Sounds interesting. So, yeah, that seems to be a very good chance of to try to make them understand how important it is to continue studying, right? Perfect. Thank you, Marcus. Any other ideas? What would you do? Which program would you implement? Any of us? Whatever you want. So if you All want right. to do something in El Salvador, what would you do? For my personal experience, I would like to, to help uh, babies with autism. Okay. For them that's... to go to school because there, there's no that much help for them. That's true. That should be difficult, right? Just to... Yeah, I live it with my kid. Believe me. Yeah. It's really, I... really hard to find help uh, or make them go to school because they don't accept them. That is true. They prefer to, uh, to keep them away, but that is not the way it should be. And did you find a school or a program that helped you? No, not really. Uh, my baby attends a center in the morning. Then he go to, goes to therapy in the afternoon. And at the end of the day, a teacher comes to our home and give him classes. Because I have, I have asked many schools to accept him and they just don't because he's not ready. Yeah, it's difficult. Yeah, you are so right. And it's... Uh, but... There are... There are many babies like like him, and I and it's it's hard for me to think uh, as a mother that there are lots of mothers suffering the same way, and maybe they don't they don't have the resources to to give them the attention they need. And believe me, if you don't help these kids, they don't they don't develop the right way, or they they don't reach to speak or or to be independent. They really need this this kind of help. That is true. Yeah, they need somebody to be with them and to to do things different, right? Because it's a different learning the one that they get. And you are right. It's, it's, that is something that I never thought, to be honest with you, if there existed a problem in Salvador that helped it, this kind of... Yeah, and, and there are programs. There is the, the this association, uh, National Association for Autism, but, but there is not enough. It's not enough. I have gone to Israel too, and it's not enough, believe me. Yeah. Okay, so that seems that it's a good idea for a program. I mean, something that is a real situation and somebody has to do something about it. But you don't understand until you leave it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I totally get it. I mean, yeah, we cannot, uh, we cannot feel it we we don't know exactly how it goes until you i just there. want to 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 mention something that what happened is that as a society we don't understand that these children are too smart they are genius yeah. and what happened is that the schools they are not prepared teachers they are not prepared I, i'm talking because my sister is a therapist for austin uh, audience and, and what she handled is that 
Leave the kids, they go on their own pace. They have their own progress. And, and what is important to find is what is the highest intelligence that they handle because they handle a lot of things. And the only thing we need to understand that is kind of different is uh, socialization. That is, it is in a different way. Mm -hmm. and the way how we approach. Unfortunately, like Heidi says, schools are not prepared to, to deal with this genius because they put in, in uh, they question everything. They can play an instrument just with listening the first time. They can speak like three, five languages. They're so smart. And what happened is that we as a society, we don't understand that. It's uh, it's amazing how the 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 smart and the genius they are. So yeah, that is the 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 reality. I mean, there should be at least one association that is going to handle this kind of support, mm -hmm. right? So My sister says that all these new laws are focused and they are starting working and opening opportunities because also another demanding issue is uh, kids that they are they have low uh, if some they can confuse like that like they don't are not interested etc but they have a different pace uh, or rhythm to uh, learn uh, in, in spanish it has a different name but uh, that is another uh, thing that is bringing the attention because Neither teachers, they are not able to identify and what is necessary to do is to switch or change the way to teach. Mm -hmm. That is true. I mean, that is that is the thing. The most important thing is the way they they teach, the way they understand each kid. Mm -hmm. so it's going to be... Fun. But at this time, for example, there are a lot of teachers in public and private school that they... They don't have the capacity or patience. They lost what they are uh, teachers. And, and what's happening is that they are just, they don't, how, how is this word? They don't retire just because of this uh, amount of money they will get as a expense. I don't know if it's correct the word. Yeah. But what happened is that they are doing bad because uh, they are frustrated. And they are showing that to all kind of young girls and, and kids. And they are not giving the opportunity to young people, new teachers with new ideas. So I don't know how this will end with the uh, release of these uh, computers to teachers and, and, and also to, to students. You just don't imagine the high amount of teachers that they don't touch the computer because they are afraid to know about technology. So it's horrible. <laughs> they don't use their computer. Just imagine. And kids, they need the students. It's a good tool to learn different things. Mm -hmm. That is true. I mean, that is so basic, right? That I mean, mm -hmm. you need to learn how to use a computer or and create content and mm -hmm. they, they don't want to do it. Uh, I mean, if they are not able to do that one, I mean, all but it's because they don't want to learn, not everybody, but there is a high amount of people that they don't want to. If that's the truth, they don't want to because they want to go again how the things are going. And the new kids are born in with a computer, I think, in their in, in their mind. So they are so creative. So we need to move on as a society. That is true. We need to move on. Teachers should be the the, the top right they should be mm -hmm. on the top of the learning experiences the, the tools that they can use mm -hmm. and yeah actually this is going to be linked to the project that mark say i mean motivating students is like that one trying to understand what they want and what they need so they can stay mm -hmm. at school and that is the most basic plan mm -hmm. let's see yeah. how these things runs or goes in the next three years <laughs> Uh, let, let's see how it goes right let's hope for the better i mean yes uh, with the children with the yeah. students yeah <laughs> yeah, because, yeah to be honest with you i have seen i mean uh, that is not big advance in teaching the program sometimes change but it's 
it's not either better or worse. I mean, they just change the way they are going to teach certain things. And that's it. It's starting from directors. Uh, you just don't imagine they are dinosaurs, most yeah. of them. And they don't want to change. And what they do, they prefer that uh, someone in the family, hey, do this and do that. And, and But there will be a point that they will be conf uh, confronted, I don't know if it's fair to say that, with the reality and the system because they need to create content, as you mentioned before. But if someone is, else is making the 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 um, uh, the things for them, the, the tasks, uh, that is, there will be some post, a breakdown. For, there must be a breakdown. Mm. That is true. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> let's let's hope for the better. And let's uh -huh. hope also that they get people with vocation. I believe that is one of the uh -huh. biggest problems as well. That mm -hmm. so many people they get that career because it's short, because mm -hmm. they want to be professional in something, but it's not the real reason. Mm -hmm. You want to be a teacher is because you really want to motivate people mm -hmm. to, to to teach, right? So. Exactly. To guide others. That is <laughs> That is it. Okay. Very good. Very interesting. So uh, we're going to be finishing the class off today. By any chance, do you have any questions? Remember that we are in the period where the companies have to send the papers for you to get inscribed in the next level. So uh, if uh, you are able to ask them, is is better, right? Also, Remember that we will be finishing the course next Tuesday, not tomorrow, but the next. And then by the weekend, we will need to be finishing the whole thing. Do you have a, like a day uh, where, or, or time frame where are we supposed to start the next course? Mm, well, to be honest with you, I don't know yet. I believe that this time is not going to take that long. Oh. Uh, the last time it was because uh, Insa4 makes like a, a middle year pause and they oh, analyze okay. things and they approve many things. But now, uh, I mean, it's going to be a little bit faster. Oh, okay. okay. The, the other time when sometimes it's a little bit slower is in January. In January, sometimes it takes mm -hmm. three weeks, four weeks for mm -hmm. us to start. Yeah. But by now, I don't think that it's going to take that much. So oh, okay. let's see how it goes. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> mm -hmm. Any other question? Okay, so let's check about uh, the attendance. Ana, Ada, Susana, Cáceres, Mendoza. Good. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Good. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Sonia Guadalupe Benítez de Claros. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. The one one of today is for Suleima Yvonne. So my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. See you tomorrow and dream in English. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Good night, everyone. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everyone. Good night. Hello. 
would you like to stay with me on this few minutes? Do you guys have any questions that I can help you with? <laughs> 